My name is Miara Zinjera. Uh, I come from Zimbabwe and um, I'm a second year at Novosibirsk State University. I'm studying big data analytics and artificial intelligence. For me, I don't think I know because it's actually a passion that I have. Um, I'm interested in analytics and I'm interested in big data, specifically when talking about making data-driven decisions. Yeah, I think that is very important in the current world. It's almost two years, I can say one and a half years now, yeah. I chose Russia because uh, I noticed Novosibirsk State University has got a good ranking uh, in terms of academics, uh, especially mathematics, so I thought it's a, good, it's a good option for me. The diversity of the weather, that is what I liked mostly. The autumn, the winter, the spring, like the weather is very vivid to the eye and um, it actually captured my attention and I liked it, yeah. And uh, uh, it, was, it wasn't difficult, it was, a, it was a straightforward process. I applied, they requested my certificates, I sent it to them. Uh, then they requested for an interview. I had an interview with one of the professors. Uh, I, uh, it was a very good interview. Then uh, after some few, about three weeks, they gave a response that I'd been admitted for the program. Uh, the requirements uh, is that I should have a bachelor's degree. Then uh, they actually requested for my, uh, for my project documentation, That's a dissertation for my bachelor's dissertation. Um, then they actually required uh, documents like passports, mm -hmm. yeah, legal documents, like translated documents of my academic certificate. Yes, they are very people who are curious, like uh, I'm, uh, there are very few people of my race in, in Russia, so they are sort of like easygoing in the sense that they are curious to know about me my culture, where I come from, why I came here. Yeah, yeah, particularly that, so that. Yes, I have uh, I've made friends. Yes, I have uh, friend, classmate friends, friends who I see when I go out, those people want to just maybe to have a small, a small chat. I have met people like that. Oh, <laughs> my free time, um, because of my, pro of my program, mainly it's basically research, uh, programming, analyzing. So most, most of my free time is just based on curiosity about big data analytics and artificial intelligence. I still have the zeal and curiosity, so, um, I cannot say I'm, when I'm outgoing in the big data analytics world, yeah. I like water, so I've uh, gone to the, to the, to, no, to the, to the sea. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then I also visited uh, the river. I liked the big bridge. I had a boat cruise. So what I enjoy mostly is to see nature. So nature is uh, one of the, fascinations that I have, especially in Russia, that we have so much nature around, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I was, mainly because I live about 8,000 kilometers away from home. I have never traveled that far before. So I was nervous because I was trying to think about changing the time zones, like my, the difference between my country and uh, Novosibirsk, it's about six hours. Uh, a different environment with different people, with uh, the stereotypes that I have seen online. I was a little bit nervous, but it's the passion that carried me to, to, to Novosibirsk. I don't have a difficult class. I have a challenging class. class. So challenging classes, uh, 
usually programming is challenging. I don't want to say it's difficult. So I just took them as they come. And uh, most of them I've managed to finish them successfully despite that they were challenging. Yeah. Uh, Russian academics, I like the sense that they give in flexibility. They are flexible enough for you to explore, especially if you have a curious mind. You can explore very broadly. You are not restricted to a, to a particular portion. You can explore as much as you can and uh, professors actually appreciate that, that you are widening your your research and uh, your knowledge. Yes, um, it's uh, for my country, it's a little bit different, mainly because uh, my country, they focus on uh, reproducing, but with, uh, with the Russian, they kind of like look for scientists. They are looking to find the scientist within a science student. They are not lo looking forward to reproduce a student, to reproduce another professor, but they want to make another type of professor. Okay, mm, I won't say uh, other country, but I think it's a personal, personal opinion at a personal level. So I think for a student to apply to this university, I would recommend it. It's a, it's a good university which is recognized uh, according to the world ranking, it's recognized. Uh, the campus itself is great. We have professors, good professors that are doing research in institutions. So I think if it all depends on the students, if you are really into big data analytics and artificial intelligence, I think this is a good program.